you late to the party? No, Father. Now he's getting the pay. Ask Mariette. Can I see her yet? Well, she's uh, sleeping now, but you'll be able to see her in the morning. Now, where is the birthday girl? Here, here. Ah, yes. Beth, isn't it? Well, Beth, I brought this for you. It used to belong to my wife. But I want you to have it. Mackenzie, can I have the box too? <laughs> <laughs> of course. A paper box is much more valuable than a necklace, isn't it? And I just happen to have in my pockets oh. one or two other little. I didn't know they were for you. <laughs> for you. For you. Oh, oh, oh. For you. All oh, for everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Mackenzie, sir. Yes, my scum. Excuse me, sir, but. Could I have a word with you in private, sir? Of course, of course. Excuse me, us children. I get the feeling no one likes Mr. Wesker very much. But you can see how devoted he is to Father. Someone has to do the hard things to make a society work. Mm. Can you believe that? Yes, of course. Leah. Leah, I'm afraid I have some rather bad news. Maria has taken the turn for the worse. Oh, no. I have to go to her right... Leah. Maria is dead. Dead? It was Palmer's disease again. Absolutely nothing we could do. Sally told me I'd probably find you here. I thought maybe you could use some company. Can I get you anything? I am not too sure I understand any of this. But it's never easy losing someone you love. What's important is what you remember about Maria. Your memories, that's what matters. That's her legacy to you. Because life goes on. You want me to leave? Do you know what happens to someone when they die on board Goliath? They're placed in the furnace in the life room. asked me to show you his heat exchange machine because I love to come here. The water's so warm. Father says it's heated by the volcanic plume from beneath the hull. You know where I come from? That's called the hot tub. Hot tub? Hot tub. That's a funny name for a pool. Yeah, well, funny or not, that's what they're called. Only people get all the way in. Oh, it would be too dangerous in this pool. Father says that the currents are very strong and they pull you right down. Father says, huh? <clears throat> you ever have an opinion of your own, Leah? Sometimes. Well, does Father also say that his heat exchange machine will never work? You know, with all their technology on the surface, our scientists still haven't figured out how to make one work. They abandoned your father's approach a long time ago. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, it's not his fault, though. He's already performed miracles. This whole ship is proof of that. He's worked so hard and so long. And he's been counting on it. You know that. Ah! Well, a little while you'll be rescued. Then you won't have anything to worry about. Rescued? Frightens me. Well, I'd like your world, Peter. Like it? Hell, you'll love it. Leah, remember when I uh, described to you what a cloud was? Big and white and fluffy and how it hung up there in that big blue sky? I forgot something. What? <laughs> the sun. <laughs> you've never seen anything until you've seen the sun. Yeah, it's uh, bright yellow. When it hangs up there in that big blue sky with all those white fluffy clouds alongside. Makes you feel great. Makes you feel warm all over. Yeah, you love it. It sounds beautiful. Oh, it is. 